What's up YouTube, this is Ed here, and this is a playthrough, uh, well, not a playthrough, a sort of a play review. I've already played through it once, and unfortunately I'm not sure how to restart it, so essentially we'll be going on to my saved file. As you can see, this is Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, start loading her up. I'm not sure how to do a proper capture from 3DS to the PC or whatever method a lot of people use. Um, it's an unfortunate thing, I mean there is some gameplay that I wouldn't mind capturing from scratch, but it is what it is I'm afraid. Alright, so let's play. This is the very, very first time I've ever tried doing this, so please bear with me. Just move it forward a bit. This is one of those demos that doesn't really rely on the secondary screen. Now, one thing that I did notice about this is, as you can see, I'm using the uh, thumb control to basically send my character around. Now, as with always, B and you're running. It is a little bit smoother. This option was available in X and Y. They seem to have embraced it completely as you can't do anything with that, with the X-pad. Which I think is a little bit of a shame. Uh, for old school players it would have been nice to have at least acknowledged it and had it as an option. Now, those of you out there who've played this demo will undoubtedly notice that there's not a lot you can actually... Oh! As you can tell by my slightly shocked expression, um, I haven't quite come down this way. <laughs> ah, I can't sneak past. Oh. Can't sneak past her. Oh well, I have to try another way. So, okay, so, um, where was I? Yeah, the demo is quite limited, as with all the other demos. A lot of the mechanics are almost identical. In, um, excuse me, <clears throat> almost identical to the Pokemon X and Y mechanics. Um, it's quite intriguing, for want of a better term. I do... I am not going to lie, I actually hate the way the new Team Skull does their whole introduction. I really, really hate it. Um, I'm not... I kind of miss Team Rocket. I think they should have brought Team Rocket back. Even if it was under a different guy other than Giovanni, it should have been Team Rocket. And I feel that it should have been... Well, yeah, it, it should it should have been Team Rocket. Anyway, yeah, they they tend to do really weird dancing sort of, yeah, maneuvers, and it's one of those really weird ones that you can tell it's just something that they grew slightly more desperate to do. Which, um, oh, hello. Um. <laughs> it's basically a lot of it's trying to recreate the original originality of the first games which don't get me wrong could be a benefit to the franchise in this case I'm not entirely sure it sounds like they've removed gyms they've changed up the legendary Pokemon significantly and they've also added um, I think it's 11 or 12 mystery Pokemon mystery master Pokemon something along those lines uh, I'll do a follow-up video at some point correcting myself if it is wrong. Now, I really genuinely appreciate this sort of game. I have always been a Pokemon fan. I own a co saving data. <laughs> I own a copy of. Hang on, I've got to remember which ones. Um, the original Red, Blue, and Yellow, Pokemon Gold, uh, Crystal. Uh, the 3DS ones, Platinum, Diamond, um, sorry, I lied, the DS ones were Platinum and Diamond, the 3DS ones, uh, yeah, um, Omega Red, XY, and I'll soon be purchasing this one, 
I, as I said, I I feel it's pretty. It, <laughs> for a sample and a demo of a game, it's not bad. I mean, it does give you the core mechanics for what you're going to need. It took took me through a couple of battles. You could probably beat it in you know, 45 minutes if you just play the equivalent of the story quest and um, when you decide to just sort of like potter around and chase down Pokemon I'll actually show you a little bit of gameplay of that but this is another mechanic I don't quite understand why they've enforced when you go through gates in the original games you go through gates in this one you actually have to push a it doesn't make a lot of sense if I'm completely honest with you. I'm not one of these people who says, oh, they shouldn't change it, blah, blah, blah. I think they should change it, but I also think they should be a little bit more wary of how... how people want to play it. And I wouldn't mind having that aspect streamlined. I know it's a little bit late, they've got the demo, it's uh, I think the primary release for the UK at least for this game is coming up in near the end of November I believe. This is another thing I'm going to have to check. Right, I'm going to try and get another Pokemon, Bullseye. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. Now this is another... Oh, it's a puppy. Really cool. My girlfriend would love it. Uh, I've changed this one up. So I've moved it up a little bit so you can actually see a little bit of the battle control down in here. Now, if you click that, each maneuver, uh, move, I should say, has a different attack rate With the, like with the original ones. However, this one now flatly turns around, super effective, not very effective, doesn't say anything, but effective. Now, this is completely new for this game as far as I'm aware, and I think it's an interesting idea, but again, it it's one of those things that they've tried becoming original for, but have ended up losing a little bit of the originality, because you lose some of the tactics behind it. I mean, a lot of people would automatically say if you're facing a Charizard and it's blatantly obvious water type attacks are going to be far more effective than fire attacks and vice versa with Froggy versus yeah I mean, be all and end all it's not a gimmick as such but it is quite blatant the way they do it sort of like oh look we have to change things and they change things now the backpack system, I'll show you once this times out, is similar to the X and Y. They have restructured it a little bit. Let me bring it up. So go across. A. Now as you can see it's atypical. It's sort of like this one is money. Oh sorry, no, it's not money, that's Key items, I apologise, I really do. Um, key items, Z-Ring, which allows uh, electric types in this case to uh, sort of temporarily power boost. You've got the berries, which is interesting that they're bringing them back. You've got the TMs, and you've got items, and then you've got medicine. I'm assuming Pokeballs will end up probably in the items menu, or is there more? Electrum Z. Oh, Z crystals. Sorry, I, I apologize. I missed one. Yeah, this is what you give to, say, a Pikachu if you want to eventually boost his powers. So, oh, actually, I'll do that now. Use this item. Uh, no, I kind of have a Pikachu. I have several Pikachus. Do I have several Pikachus? Oh. Okay, I'm thinking of a different game. I really am sorry about that. 
but yeah, basically that's what you do. You select it like a normal item, you give it to the Pokemon which is compatible with that power. So obvious, obviously these, these sections here will be sort of like Pokedex, save, items, options, etc, etc. So let's get out of this green field. Now, I'll show you where the... Hello? Oh, my champ. I will show you the Poke Center. Oh yeah, another thing. Running seems to have been reduced a little bit. Just seems just a tad bit slower. So, um... For the record, guys, if you watch this and you know how... Oh, yeah, this is another thing. Look, I can't go in without pushing action. This is another thing that they've put in, and I feel it to be an inappropriate thing. Because it actually reduces the effectiveness of the game. It's a mechanic that can't benefit the game. Anyway, um, as, as you're watching the screen, this side is a cafe, which I'm not entirely sure what the cafe is, but I assume it's... Yeah, cat coffee. This is the poke shop. That is Nurse Joy. So she will heal my Pokemon. This is an, a very traditional method of healing your Pokemon. You select yes. Let me move this forward a little. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds, please. Click. This is a little bit better because it actually shows you the Pokemon in your party order. And, uh, yeah, that, that's kind of it, to be honest. No, none of the item shops are available. Um, most of the NPCs are stuck. I mean, there's a couple actually intentionally blocking entryways and exits. I mean, like like with all those slowpoke I just ran into. I mean, these guys, th this building here, obviously, you're supposed to act, be able to access, but these two stop you. But it's one of those things that they can't obviously overload a demo. Now, in regards to the sort of camera angle, this is again very typical of X and Y of a cityscape. Um, I do feel that it can be a little bit disorientating. From what I can tell, it's also touching a little bit of Bravely Default. Um, I played a quick demo of it and it did have some sections of very similar sort of camera angle stylings now oh oh no I thought I thought that might be a new weird shaped Pokemon there's supposed to be a load of extra ones in this game now as you can tell most of the NPCs will be like this they'll they'll talk randomness like in every other game sort of like one or two lines and that's kind of it in regards to that. I mean, like I said, I, I've i played this demo, and I would do a full demo video showing all of this and all of my gameplay attached to this. However, I will be avoiding that at the moment until I can, well, work out a little bit more efficient editing. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is possibly a very good game. I would... As a Pokemon fan, recommend to anyone buying it. I mean, seriously, if you don't buy it, I mean, that's entirely up to you, but you'll be potentially detracting from future Pokemon franchises, etc. Now, one thing I will say is watch gameplay footage of proper walkthroughs, as in from the beginning. I ha I can't give any links, unfortunately. I'm not sure. I haven't looked. I've only played it. But if you can, have a look around. Get a feel for it. In, get a, f a visual feel for it from your perspective. Also, if you can, download it. Like I said, it, it's not a very large... Excuse me. It's not a particularly large game. But it is... It, I mean, it, it'll kill a good 45 minutes an hour. Like I said, it entirely depends on how you play it, but uh, 
stretch out, mess about, try different moves. You can't catch any Pokemon in this demo, which is a little bit of a downer because I it's a little bit of a shame that you can't capture any Pokemon because it would be interesting to see what the new Pokedex entries look like. Um, unfortunately, it's a demonstration, so the mechanical aspects, it gives a really good sort of like this is what to expect situation. However, when it comes to catching Pokemon, we'll have to wait for the main game, I'm afraid. Like um, X and Y's demonstration. I am hoping to purchase this myself and if I can figure out how to capture 3DS footage onto my computer without basically having to build a whole new graphics card or whatever, or capture card, then I will do my utmost to do that. Uh, until that point, however, you'll have to put up with my camera and 3DS stat in front of you, so it is what it is. So um, that's been Big Ed 2008. This has been my impressions slash review of the demonstration of uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, if you like this, please um, rate it, um, comment below, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. As I said, I intend on trying to do some more demonstration videos such as this. And uh, I shall catch you on the next video. Catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.